The Pestilence, an exotic LMG that deals damage after you hit your targets. The ticks of it go on and on, and with a bit of a build you can get up to 1.5 million damage on those ticks. At the beginning of the game this exotic was a DZ exclusive, but nowadays you can get it everywhere in the game. In this video I will explain where and how to get it, and I will show you my build and some gameplay. So, as we said at the start of the video, in the beginning of the game this exotic LMG was a DZ exclusive. Fighting Black Tusk or Outcasts in the Dark Zone could get you this exotic. A lot has changed since then, so as almost every weapon and piece of gear in the game, you can now get it everywhere. But where do you get the most chances on this toxic piece? First of all the DZ, yes, the Dark Zone still has the highest chance to get it. Clearing landmarks can get you the pestilence. Targeted loot missions or areas. If you grind a mission that has LMGs as targeted loot, you get the pestilence sooner or later. Besides the Bullet King, the pestilence is the only exotic LMG in the game. So whenever the game decides to drop you an exotic, you have a 50% chance. Countdown and the Summit. Both offsite missions allow you to set your own targeted loot which is the perfect place to farm for anything. Set your targeted loot on LMGs and grind some floors or enjoy Countdown. Where the summit is perfectly playable on your own, Countdown has more chance to drop exotics. If you have a bit of a decent build, you should be able to solo the normal or hard version of Countdown. And that's how I got this pestilence, from the orange box after completing the main objective in Countdown. All on my own, on normal difficulty. Your final option are exotic caches. If you complete the weekly SHT requisition project, you receive one free exotic cache. The same as the weekly summit project where you receive one exotic cache. But this one takes a bit more time. You need to clear 30 floors for this project. If you don't know about the weekly SHT requisition project, then open your map, jump to projects and this is the one you need. Donate the required materials and get one exotic cache. Now time to take a quick look at the build. Note that I took this build from Pure Prime, and the link for his channel is in the description below. As specialization we take the Gunner specialization. Our primary weapon is the Pestilence, and as secondary and sidearm you can choose whatever you want. Our mask is a Heartbreaker piece together with our holster. Those two Heartbreaker pieces gives us 15% AR and 15% LMG damage. On the mask I have 15% weapon damage rolled, as well as 6% critical hit chance. The mod is currently an armor on kill mod, cause I don't have anything else. On the holster we also rolled 15% weapon damage and 6% critical hit chance. Then we jump to the backpack, which is a walker and harris piece that gives us 5% weapon damage. And we rolled 15% weapon damage, 6% critical hit chance and 12% critical hit damage. The mod on the backpack is also an armor on kill one, with the same reason as the mask, out of mods. The talent on our backpack is Vigilance, and Vigilance gives us an additional 25% weapon damage as long as we're not taking damage. Then we jump to our chest piece, which is a named Petrov with 15% weapon damage, 10% headshot damage and 6% critical hit chance. 
The talent on the chest is perfect braced, which gives us 50% weapon handling when we are in cover. Our gloves are the contractor gloves with 15% weapon damage, 8% damage to armor and 10% headshot damage. Last but not least, Sayus knee pads, 170k armor and 2 lost rolls. We could use extra crits on here, but I need to farm another one. All of this together gives us 34% critical hit chance, 57% critical hit damage and 105 headshot damage. A steady 120,000 weapon damage and 1 million armor. One important thing to know for a pestilence build, critical hit doesn't boost your ticks. So focus on plain weapon damage. All the crits we have rolled in here keeps us alive in bad situations. Finally the skills and honestly, here you can choose whatever you want. I use a healing drone and the revive hive. Since I'm not a pro builder you need to know that this is a fun build. Probably not the best for heroic and legendary, but lots of fun on challenging. Let me know what you think of the build or what you changed to make it perfect. For now it's time to say thank you for watching, have a nice day, Stalker out. Yeah, 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 yeah